going to show you in this video how to set up, connect, and fix any kind of issues you may be experiencing with Chromecast. And also I'm going to show you how to mirror your phone image and duplicate it on your TV screen using Screencast and then it comes with a micro USB plug that you use to charge many cell phones with and the other end is a US, standard USB port that you plug in any open port on your TV. So we're going to take the Chromecast, plug it into an open HDMI port on the TV, plug it into a USB port on the TV. If you don't have a USB port, you can plug it into a power adapter and go ahead and turn on the TV. And once you turn on the TV, you'll see this light. It'll turn red at first, and then that you see, it'll turn red at first, and then it'll start blinking. Now, to factor or reset it back to brand new settings, one thing you have to do is hold down the power button right here. Hold it down for 20 seconds, or until the light turns red. So, one, two. Right. That's it. So that's how you factor reset your Google Chromecast. So now, if you couldn't connect before on your phone, you should be able to connect now on your phone to your Chromecast. Now that we have the Chromecast plugged in and on, let's go ahead and you want to go to chromecast.com forward slash setup on your Google Chrome. So right here, you'll see your Chrome. You go click on your Chrome web browser and go to the website click on this right here and it's going to tell you to download the app just like that it looks so it looks just like that go ahead and open it all right so this menu will come up right here it says setup click on setup click on ok right, let's go ahead and double check and swipe down if you see 4g up here by the way Make sure you're on Wi-Fi, not 4G. So let's go ahead and confirm that. And my Wi-Fi is off. So let's go turn on my Wi-Fi. You wanna make sure the Chromecast is on the same Wi-Fi network router in your house as your smartphone. And you wanna uncheck smart network switch. Next, you wanna also, if you still can't connect and it doesn't find it, go to your settings, go to network connections, and scroll down to more network mobile networks and you can uncheck out of that just in case you want to make sure check out of that so right there and then your 4g should turn off at that point and the Wi-Fi should only be on if it still does not connect you want to check and see if you have any like a vast mobile security or any and right here let's click on more tools click on firewall And as you can see right here, I have firewall protection on my Wi-Fi and my th uh, 3G, well really 4G. So let me uncheck my Wi-Fi because my router has a firewall and now it should allow my connection to be seen through the Chromecast on my phone. So now let's go ahead and go to the Chrome app, Chromecast app. Sometimes you may have to restart your phone or restart the Chromecast. And let's click on Setup again. And it's going to ask, do you see this code? E8P5. And there it is right there. So let's go ahead and click on I see code. It's going to ask you to relabel the title, so I'm going to label it Chromecast Kids. So I relabeled it Chromecast Kids. In case you have two Chromecasts, you want to make sure that you know which one you're connecting to. It's set up. It's going to ask now to put in your wireless router password. After you put in the wireless password, you want to click on Set Network. And then once you're completed, you should say, sweet, you are ready to cast. So this is going to be your symbol from now on in your apps, Netflix and YouTube. When you click on that symbol, it's going to show up on your TV screen. So now when you click on Chromecast right here, next you want to click on devices. 
And then you can download some apps, which is like Netflix and YouTube work for this. Google Play Movies works for it as well. But let's go ahead and copy screen. Click on copy. And then next, you want to select which Chromecast you want to connect to. Just click on that one. And there it is. So you just basically, you can tap to disconnect, but from this point on, you can click out of that. Swipe, swipe. Now if it lags whatsoever or it uh, kicks you out, what you all make sure you want to do is you want to make sure you're within 30 feet of the wireless router, the Chromecast and your phone. Make sure you're within 25 feet of your phone and the Chromecast device. And also, if you have a, a wireless extender in your house, make sure your phone is on the same access point as your Chromecast if you have a wireless extender in your house. From this point on, you want to click on your Chromecast um, icon, click on Devices, click on Cast Screen, and then choose a wireless, choose your Chromecast device that you want to connect to, and there it is, that easy back out of that and you can literally play anything you want that's on your phone and I'll copy it to your TV. No way! And I'm on YouTube right now, so it even detects the rotation. Works pretty quick, actually. But now it works for almost everything. It just mirrors whatever is on your phone, just is on your TV, basically. And I don't even have to hit the Chromecast button. See? So it just works really seamless, and then you just turn it any which way you want. Your volume is controlled right here. I control lower the volume on my phone. It'll work on the TV. So anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if this video was informative and it helped you out. And if you know this video may help someone else out, you, um, you know, go ahead and click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G Plus or even your tech blog if you got one. And also subscribe to Tampa Tech for more easy tech fixes like this and reviews.